Melanie Michaels. I'm an educator here at the Lake Superior Zoo, and I'm bringing the zoo to you. My job as a zoo educator is to teach people all about wild animals and how we can help them. And this is important to the zoo because we hope that all animals have a safe habitat to live in and people that care about them. Now today, we are going to meet a master of disguise. This animal is a master of disguise because at first glance, he may not be what he appears. This is my friend Scapelli. Why don't we take a closer look? Can you guess what kind of animal he is? Did you guess snake? That's what most people guess. I even thought he was a snake when I first met him. If you said lizard, pat yourself on the back. Scapelli is a glass lizard or legless lizard. Legless lizards are masters of disguise. Even though he looks like a snake, there are a couple of clues that let you know he is really a lizard. The first clue is his ears. Lizards have ear holes on each side of their head, just like us. But snakes do not have ears. So the next time you see an animal you think is a snake, check for ear holes. The next clue is his eyes. Most types of lizards have eyelids. Snakes do not have eyelids and cannot close their eyes. The last clue is harder to see, but it's his tail. Lizards have long tails. Scapelli has a tail that's the same length as his body. Snakes have short tails. Many lizards also have tails that break off when they're scared, like the leopard gecko. Scapelli is called a glass lizard because people used to think that if you touched their tail, it would shatter like glass. That's not quite true. His tail won't shatter like glass, but it can break off into several pieces if he's scared or if he's trying to escape from a predator. A snake's tail cannot break off. Glass lizards are predators, so they eat other animals. But unlike snakes, they do not have sharp teeth. Instead, they have a strong jawbone that they use to crush their prey. Like snakes, this lizard swallows his food whole. But unlike snakes, he can only swallow small food. Snakes can stretch their jaws to swallow things that are bigger than their heads. At the zoo, we feed Scapelli small mice and eggs for a special treat. Unlike us, he likes his eggs raw. This type of glass lizard is found in the grasslands of Europe and Asia, and they spend much of their time underground. His low body also helps him to camouflage in the tall grasses. Even though we have grasslands or prairies here in Minnesota, we don't have any types of legless lizards. They can be found in southern Wisconsin and other parts of the United States, but here in Minnesota, we only have three types of lizards. And none of them are found here in northern Minnesota. We do have other kinds of reptiles, though. Have you seen any? The next time you're out exploring in nature, make sure to look out for our native turtles and snakes. In the springtime, they're all waking up from hibernation and they're going out and migrating to their breeding grounds. If you happen to come across one while they're trying to cross the road, you can talk to your adult about seeing if you can help it make its way across. But always make sure to put it on the side of the road that it was facing. And don't try to pick up a snapping turtle. So now you know that Scapelli here is a lizard and not a snake. So the next time you come to the zoo, you won't be fooled by this master of disguise. Thanks for watching, and thank you for helping us help animals. And we hope to see you really soon here at the Lake Superior Zoo.